Ew, what was that? Hey, y'all. That was my, uh, Vermi compost bins. They're extremely neglected. Um, but I'm starting to experiment with this, and I'm going to explain it to you. All right, Vermi compost is when you use worms, um, to compost with, to break down material. You feed them, uh, you know, uh, usually you can feed them anything, but... Uh, plant-based stuff really breaks down well. Um, you can feed them meat too, but it does not advise for a couple of little bins. Maggots will get involved. When you're breaking down meats, you really want to get more of a thermal composting situation that's different than vermicomposting. That all being said, uh, the species of worms I'm using are called red wigglers, and a lot of people use them for vermicomposting. Now, this experiment will involve um, growing potatoes in the uh, vermicompost bins. If you don't know, potatoes can be grown in a situation um, where you can bury their, their stalk. You can bury their stalk uh, over and over, um, and then it'll produce more roots and more roots and more roots as it goes up. It's kind of like a tomato plant that way. You can bury tomatoes really deep, and then the parts of the stalk or the stem that you buried will actually become uh, roots. Okay, so let's check out what's going on here, and let me explain about my situation with the vermicompost bin. My room's a real mess, so if you see, like, weird camera angles, it's because I'm trying not to get that shit on camera. All right, y'all, hold on. All right. So what you have here is uh, a stalk, a main shoot, and that is coming up out of that potato there. See, that potato I threw into uh, this situation a long time ago. That's the first one I threw in. And then I noticed it, it was putting up this, this big uh, runner. And the only lighting, the only lighting I have in my room is a high pressure sodium light uh, that gives off an orange hue. Here it is. High pressure sodium security light. That's a hundred watt light. That's the, that's the, and sometimes that's too much lighting for me in my room. I like to have my room freaking dark. Um, and I, I don't like uh, cool spectrum lighting. I'm going to be doing another experiment uh, coming up soon, but cool spectrum lighting comes up like a bluish hue. And then there's more neutral white, and then there's the orangish warm spectrum. And high pressure sodium is definitely considered to be warm. So anyway, back to my bin. All right. So I, I seen this one doing really good. Now the point is, the point is, this bin is about... 10 feet away from the light okay uh let me come up let me, let me just show you i'm standing here my lighting is over behind that bike stop trying to look at my messy room all right so anyway I, I noticed my other, these are just red potatoes from the grocery store. They grow really well. I noticed my other potatoes were starting to put up like these little shoots. They looked like this. So I put them in here and it's only been like maybe, maybe a week. And there's already all kinds of shoots and runners. They're growing leaves and uh, they're thriving. And you can tell they're thriving when they grow leaves. So, I mean, the point is a hundred watt light that was uh, 10 feet away and started with, with a runner growing in the dark of the bin, came all the way out, and now it's got beautiful green leaves on it just from that low lighting. So what I'll be doing is put throwing, throwing more material on here, more material, more material, and over time that material's gonna build up, and as it does, more potatoes will be put out, more leaves growing. Uh, in addition, they will be getting more lighting because I'm about to set up my other experiment and uh, all kind of lighting will be going on them. 
Now, why is this a neglected worm bin? Well, uh, two reasons. Um, because it's got a whole bunch of um, water in the bottom of it, stagnant water. I'll show you that. See here? There's water coming up here. Here's the water line. You can see it. There's so much water. Like you can see when I squish it, the water line rises. That's a good, that's almost a foot worth of water. And this bin is filled up. So there's actually two bins here. They both have holes drilled in them so that the worms and the water can flow, okay, through each. Uh, there's, there's filled with, um, I started this with a peat, peat moss mix and a little bit of sand in there because the worms have gizzards and they need the sand. They need the sand to digest their food. So I just started that and I started, I was feeding, I was growing, um, there you go. I was growing like microgreens and salads and stuff. And then, um, obviously all my food waste, I would just throw it in there to, to give them something to eat. You can also do other things like dumping sugar or molasses in there. All right. So yeah, it's, it's pretty neglected. That water should be drained out and or aerated. Aerating it would create a cool, um, compost tea situation so i'll probably do another experiment with that but uh back to the other reason why it's neglected at some point i ended up mixing like just outside soil in the, with this and um other bugs came in at one point i had like these little annoying little fly things tiny little flies coming out of there they seem to have gone um but right now i've got these really tiny they're almost like these little tiny little peach colored beetles and they shimmer at first I thought they might have been the worms eggs but they're not they're like these little tiny little beetle mite looking things if anybody knows what they are or how to get rid of them let me know because I haven't figured it out yet but yeah that it's contaminated with that and I'll give you a close-up hold on oh see all this oh, right here all this orange shimmery stuff that's actually there's a little bit of avocado right there I threw in there. But that's actually these really tiny, tiny little mite beetle looking things. Oh. So yeah, I'll be working with that. This is just part one, my starting point on that. I've had this these worms going for probably about two years now. And um, my... You know, when I do more experiments with the worms, and I will, uh, I will be using an, another population that's definitely all one one species of worms and nothing else growing in it. Um, but this is kind of a cool cool thing to to show you. I I just think it's kind of neat the way these potatoes are thriving on such little light. All right, y'all, take care.